Now to Democracy 2016 and the race for the White House. Donald Trump back on the campaign trail today after last night's big policy speech on immigration and meeting with the president of Mexico. RTV 6's Jason Fechner is leading Indiana's most comprehensive election coverage. Jason. Good evening, Erica. Good evening, everyone. Fresh off his big immigration speech in Arizona late last night, Donald Trump's been campaigning in the crucial swing state of Ohio today. He continued to lay out his immigration plan, saying if elected president, he would immediately force out immigrants living in the U.S. illegally who have committed crimes. Trump also says he would also kick out people who've overstayed their visas. Still, Trump made this promise to how he says he would treat everyone. We will treat everyone with dignity, respect, and compassion. But our greatest compassion will be for the American citizen. Trump also said this morning that he would push for more patriotism in schools, including ensuring that young Americans recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Meanwhile, several local immigration agencies in Indy tonight are still working through what Trump's 10-point plan could mean for both current and future families here. That speech, of course, comes amidst ongoing calls for change in Indiana, regardless of who's elected. Let's get back to what makes America, America. It attracts the poorest, the people that want to work the hardest, they want to provide for their families. That was less than a month ago in Indy. A joint call for immigration reform from groups including the Indiana Restaurant and Lodging Association, the Indy Chamber, and the Indiana Latino Institute. Indianapolis's Immigrant Welcome Center reports that by 2025, minorities will make up the majority of Marion County, with immigrants making up between 12 and 13 percent. I am going to create a new special deportation task force. Wednesday, of course, Donald Trump mapped out a 10-point plan for immigration reform, deporting undocumented immigrants, but also limiting visas through extreme vetting and the reform of legal immigration. No specific numbers were available late Thursday to show just how many current families in Indy could be impacted by that. We will be fair, just, and compassionate to all, but our greatest compassion must be for our American citizens. Latino Trump surrogate Alfonso Aguilar has pulled his support for Trump, saying he feels the GOP nominee misled him about his immigration plan.